Top 10 Most Mysterious and Terrifying Creatures in Egyptian Mythology 1. Amet Amet, also known as the Devourer of the Dead, Eater of Hearts, or Great of Death, is a terrifying deity in ancient Egyptian religion. She is depicted as a composite creature with the head of a crocodile, the forequarters of a lion, and the hindquarters of a hippopotamus. These animals were considered the most dangerous to ancient Egyptians. Amet resided in the Hall of Mayat, where the hearts of the deceased were weighed against the feather of Mayat, truth and justice, in the afterlife. If the heart was found to be heavier than the feather, indicating a life of sin, Amet would devour it, causing the soul to become restless forever, a state called, the second death. 2. Apophis, Apep. Apophis, or Apep, was the ancient Egyptian deity of chaos and the eternal enemy of the sun god Ra. He was depicted as a giant serpent or dragon and was believed to reside in the underworld. Each night, he attempted to devour the sun god Ra during his nocturnal voyage through the underworld, symbolizing the struggle between order, Mayat, and chaos, Isfet. Apophis was also associated with earthquakes, storms, and other destructive natural events. His defeat by Ra every morning was considered a daily reaffirmation of the triumph of order over chaos. 3. Babi. In Egyptian mythology, Babi, also known as Baba, was a deity depicted as a baboon. He was considered a violent and aggressive god, with a role as the firstborn son of Osiris. Babi was believed to be ferocious and bloodthirsty, representing virility, strength, and sexual aggression. He was also associated with the underworld and was said to be a devourer of the dead, threatening the deceased with violence if they did not follow the proper rites. 4. Bennu, Phoenix. The Bennu bird in Egyptian mythology is often linked to the Greek phoenix. It symbolizes rebirth and immortality. This mythical bird was associated with the sun and creation. It was said to live for 500 years before dying and being reborn from its ashes, representing the cycle of life, death, and renewal. The Bennu bird was also connected to the god Ra and was believed to have played a role in the creation of the world. 5. Griffin. While not originally from Egyptian mythology, the griffin was adopted into their artistic motifs. It's a creature with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle. In Egypt, griffins were used decoratively and symbolically, often to guard treasures and tombs. They represented strength and dominance, combining the king of beasts, lion, with the king of birds, eagle. 6. Hather. Hather, one of the most important and complex goddesses, was worshipped as the goddess of the sky, love, beauty, music, dance, motherhood, and joy. She was depicted as a cow, a cow-headed woman, or a woman wearing a headdress of cow horns in a sun disc. Hather was also seen as a protective goddess and was associated with the afterlife, providing guidance to the souls of the dead. 7. Hecate. Hecate, often depicted as a frog or a frog-headed woman, was an ancient Egyptian goddess of fertility and childbirth. She was believed to provide divine assistance during childbirth and was also associated with the annual flooding of the Nile, which brought fertility to the land. As a symbol of life and rebirth, Hecate was sometimes linked to the god Osiris in the resurrection. 8. Horus. Horus, one of the most significant Egyptian deities, was a god of the sky, war, and hunting. Depicted as a falcon or a man with the head of a falcon, Horus was a symbol of power and divine kingship. He was the son of Isis and Osiris and famously battled his uncle set for the throne of Egypt, becoming a symbol of good triumphing over evil. 9. Isis. Isis was a major goddess in ancient Egyptian religion, worshipped as the ideal mother and wife, the patroness of nature and magic. She was known for her magical skills and the ability to protect and heal. Isis played a key role in the myth of Osiris, her husband, as she resurrected him and conceived their son, Horus. She was depicted as a woman wearing a throne-shaped headdress, symbolizing her status as the queen of the gods. 10. Kepri. Kepri was the ancient Egyptian god of creation, 
movement of the sun, and rebirth. He was often depicted as a scarab beetle or as a man with a scarab as a head. The scarab beetle symbolizes the rolling of the dung ball, analogous to the movement of the sun across the sky. Kepri's association with the scarab and the sunrise made him a symbol of rebirth, renewal, and transformation in daily life and in the afterlife. Egyptian mythology is a rich and intricate system of beliefs and stories that formed the backbone of ancient Egyptian culture, influencing their rituals, art, and societal structure. Central to this mythology is the concept of Mayat, representing truth, balance, and cosmic order, which was upheld by a pantheon of gods and goddesses, each embodying different aspects of the world and human experience. The myths often revolve around themes of creation, nature, the afterlife, and the divine right of kings. Creation myths, for example, explain the origins of the world and the emergence of the gods who then go on to form the elements, celestial bodies, and living creatures. The importance of the afterlife in Egyptian mythology cannot be overstated, with detailed beliefs about the journey after death, including judgment and the potential for rebirth or eternal peace. Divine relationships, betrayals, and battles in these myths mirrored the struggles of nature, such as the cycle of the sun, the flooding of the Nile, and the transition between life and death. Temples, pyramids, and tombs were adorned with depictions of these myths, serving both as religious symbols and as a means of preserving the mythology for future generations. This mythology not only provided spiritual explanations but also reinforced social and political orders, often linking pharaohs with deities to legitimize their rule. For more videos like these please like, share and subscribe and please press the bell icon.